You stay and fight. Well, there's seven, seven of us and at least seven of them? At least. At least. I like those odds. We break. We punch through their ranks. Dart north through the woods to Jareth. They won't attack us there, not when it's still an official settlement. They they know better. If they do that, they risk war. We have to go north? Because they're all south. I like how they're taking a risk in war while Marv is right here. <laughs> you're too stupid to go to organize the war. Well, no, like, pretty much if anything happens to Marv, isn't, uh, isn't that a huge issue? Sort of, yeah. Yeah. She doesn't know that, though. We fight, and then we run. Rogue I'm okay initiative. with this. So which way is north? Uh, north. Up. I'm just wondering if it was like a different perspective or something. Yeah, but she wants us to fight first and then run north. Yeah. Mm, I see. Unless those guys ahead of us are also all enemies. All the people with names are bandits. Oh, Barchi damn. doesn't have a okay. name for me, so he's a bandit now. Bullshit, I see my name. No, Pique, bro. I see everyone's name but yours. Hello. No, Pique. He's Bandit. Bandici. You're dead. Oh, I see his name now. I'm a paladin, I'm just bubble and hurt. Oh, oh, shit. Yay. That's a respectable role. Indeed. I have not been rolling very well tonight. We've all been rolling pretty average. We've had some highs and lows. Mostly mids. Mostly lows. Okay, can someone give me the order? It is Maru, followed by Barchi. With, um... Or at a 19. Mm. And then uh, Barchi's got 12. Well, one of them is or, a 17. We're not including the enemies. Oh, okay. And then Marv right. with a 6 and me with a 5. Yep. Yeah. I'll be right back in like 2 seconds, sorry. Okay. up in another computer chair while we wait. So... so I forgot we, we, that we were streaming for like a good three hours here. <laughs> yeah, it's something that's still going on right now. Yeah. Happy Bulls. Hello. Chad has been very chaotic the entire night. Yeah, it has. Of course. I did it. I did it. Thank you. Hey Snake, you under en to? under enlarged person, it says um, all equipment is also enlarged by the spell. Melee weapons affected uh, deal more damage, but it doesn't give an actual damage amount. Do you know how much it is? I assume it increases the uh, weapons have um, size classes as well, and they. Do tier damage. So I assume if you make, um, <laughs> if you have, say, a medium sized character, they would have a medium sized weapon. And if you make them large, they would have a large sized weapon. And cool. that does specific damage. Oh, okay. We'll take that into account then. I didn't know that.
And if you have a PHP open. PHP? Player's Handbook. PHP. Yeah, I got it. Oh. Can you check the uh, equipment table? And there should be there should be a, a chart. I forget the page number off the top of my head. I'll find it. Whoever the weapons are, there should be a chart that lists um, the damage for certain weapons. I'm probably going to need something for Goldie. Okay. Goldie. All right. See, we got, uh, here we go, large weapon damage. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's not the chart. Wait, is this the uh, the table? It says like fine, diminutive, tiny, small, medium, large, huge, gargantuan, colossal. Yes. Okay. Um, medium damage for a battle axe is one day one d eight, but that's a one handed. Um, yes. Yeah, it seems like it goes from one d eight to two d six to two d eight. Yeah. But he so has you a just great axe, doesn't he? Yeah. So I guess it would just be two d eight, right? For... If it's a massive weapon and it's two handed. His great action is 1d12 standard, though. Oh, okay. Yep. That's what that, I don't understand. That doesn't fall under one of these categories. Here you go, two-handed melee. Uh... Great axe, yeah. Does it not list it? 1d12. This other one. Critical is three. So it doesn't have that in the. I'll allow it to do 2d8, I guess. Okay. You guys waited on me, didn't you? Yes. You just went wrong without me. No. Impossible. We were uh, figuring out uh, technicalities anyway. Okay. Anyway. Hi. Hi. Uh... What did I miss? Technicalities, talk. Ooh. Yes. Okay, top of the order is Maru. Or Maru. Alright. You also... The dog in the... Or the dogs in those... Or the cages where they're going mad right now. Okay, let's see. As in, they seem very intent on eating those orcs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. So, I'm gonna go over here. Cage locked? It's. I... It's locked from the outside. Yeah, it's latch. Okay, I'm opening it. And they oh, dart right past you. Release the hounds! I'm glad one of us said it. Thanks. Just... Alright, so I think that was about my turn. How much is that? 13, 15. I can go a little bit more forward. Boop. Then this guy is... Let's see. I don't understand. I type in dog and... No, way too far. Is it default to doge? <laughs> okay. Uh, that's it for me then. I... Oh, wait, this guy. Hang on. Are these bandits or are these? I think they're part of Yanis's guard. Okay. Yeah, they are. All right, they're unnamed. Okay. Yep. Then they're not very orcish anyway. Oh, there you go then. 
Yeah! That's a dog, alright. <laughs> is that a dodge? The dodge. It's not even a dodge. It's a dodge now. It's a Lamborghini. It's a, yeah. yeah, it's a Lamborghini Countach. Alright, oh, those are our dogs. I wish to pick up Combat Knife. Combat Knife and Lamborghini. <laughs> Translates that's, that's to dog in another country. Yeah, that's the dog's names. Mm-hmm. Alright, so my turn, yeah? I want to hop in this Lambo. <laughs> <laughs> and drive away into the sunset. Wait, but you don't have your license. You're right. Too short to drive, man. <laughs> Can't, Can't reach, reach the, the pedals. pedals. Yeah. <laughs> so the Lambador dives <laughs> for this orc. Ow. And the knife dives for that one. <laughs> Jesus. Beautiful. It's a Pomeranian. <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> so those two are effectively occupied for now. Go for the eyes. Are there any links to what these barrels may be? Video game, they're explosive. They're, they're not, not red, red though. Yeah. They're milk barrels. Possibly. Or semen or, barrels. Or just empty. Empty they semen are, barrels. They are very clearly labeled ale. Ale barrels. Oh shit. They explosive. I haven't had my drink today. <laughs> nah, they didn't you? Didn't you have I, one earlier? I can't tell you, to be honest. I'm like drunk 24-7. It's tough being an ex-cop. <laughs> it is. Alright, so... Are we fighting here? We have to break the ranks, move north as fast as possible. Right, got that. But are there ranks north of us? Is that what they're saying? Or is yes, that talking about breaking these ranks? There are enemies north of us. All right, so we're on a move, then. Yeah. Shake tail. Yes. Feather. Zoom. Zoom. Oh, they have Along a side. magic guy over there too, to the left. That stink. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, I knew. Alongside her dagger and bow, by the way, Yanis has taken up a longsword. So multi-talented. These are revised. Her entourage. All advance as well. But we're fighting. She's running. If no. you want to, if you Breaking want to treat them like. Ranks. If you want to treat them like one group snake, I think you can do the click and highlight thing, where you just box them all in and move them all at once. Yeah. I don't want to do that just yet, though. Okay. Don't ask to die and make it dramatic. <laughs> so are we fighting or are we running? Running for right now, we're, but they're going to be... We're all surrounded, I assume, so we're breaking... I don't know, he just said fight and then run north. Yeah, we gotta fight through the north to get th out through the north. There are enemies up north. But they're also coming from behind. It's because like, that's where the like, town is we're going to is from. It's, it's like Mario, the way you can't go back. You gotta keep going forward. You gotta go for the flagpole. These, this band of orcs behind us, we wanna not let them touch us. Boombas. We can take him. I'm gonna miss that Lambo. <laughs> you knew it so well. Just gotta pan it. I'm seeing Marv, you're up. I'm up. I'm gonna sprint. <sighs> you mad, man? Yay. Let's see, it's times four of 30. 120. Uh, Might need to zoom out. That's uh, 94. I'm gonna just be right here. 
can't sprint through a thing, I don't think. What was the thing I was going through? This that... green tent thing? That's a tent? This is a tent. This is a tent. the ground. I, uh, ugh, I'm right here. <laughs> right behind the tent. Hey. <laughs> stop, stop on a dime. <laughs> Pretty much, it's like, hello. Now next turn, hide. Uh, Inside the tent. Yes, I'm just right behind it. He's currently 15 feet tall, hiding behind a tent. <laughs> it's green, though. I blend in. Let's see how far is he? My head that causes such a ruckus of just him like, dong, 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 then hides behind the tent. He's still enormous size, too, right? Yeah, exactly. So he can't even fit behind it. Right. It's quite obvious. He's just kind of squatting behind a little mm. tent. It's like a little kid trying to hide behind a plant that's way not good enough to hide him. Hey, where's Marv? <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I think next up is Jund after the, these guys move. You guys are just fucking leaving me. They gotta run too. Nah. I thought we were all running as a group. I thought we were fighting. Not you, these guys now. You can fight those guys if you want to fight those guys. Yeah, true. We we'll get so much Indeed. experience. Think of all the experience. Alright, John, just up. Now, never mind. What? A bush in there. Fucking ore comes out of this bush, and I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> no. <I'm>... <laughs> All right. Worse, it's like bees everywhere. I'll just use my turn to just sprint here. And as you're running away, there is an explosion. Damn, you're cool, Jund. Did and you I don't look, at, look it? at it. Yeah, there you go. I'm These barrels glasses. right here. They go up. Shit, you're right. I would have done that if I had any type of fire spells. Didn't need to. Since none of you were looking, you didn't see what hit it. Oh. Out of character money's on Kara. It's a good bet. Mm hmm. And almost immediately. Monster kill, kill, kill. Wait, that's an ultra, never mind. Yep, that is an ultra. At least Lambo lived. And back to the top. <laughs> Alright, back to Maru. Okie dokie. that um, as you approach this campsite there are there are more bodies than people you see alive the people you see are just the people left standing they worked very quickly we're just gonna run up on you
Marv, do you recognize what kind of orcs these are? Uh, big. Hmm. If you'd like to, Marv, you can make a spot check to see if you recognize any markings. Any old brothers? Let's see. At least know if they're associated, if they're like working clans. These I are all your children. <laughs> <laughs> Benny, what are you doing? Wow! Oh. All right. They are all your children. <laughs> yep. I went hey, to school with that guy. All He's those kind of a dick. bad rolls finally give me something. Watch. It's a... It's a pretty old clan. You've... You've clan hopped a bit in your time, but... You at least recognize them from... Maybe 20 years ago. Do I know their name? Roll an intelligence or wisdom. Maybe not. Yeah, though you recognize them as people you traveled with some 20 odd years ago. You've never really been big into politics and titles and all that. So you never really took the time to commit their name to memory. They were just the clan. Gotcha. That's racist. <laughs> yeah. Also, for those wondering, Marv is actually 37. People were wondering. Archer Bold is 34. Oh my god, we're old. Yeah. Well, not in dwarf standards. Hmm. True. Uh, I believe it's Marv's go. Yes, it is. Alright. Well, taking this into account... Marv, uh, well, that, that's that got to be going through the, f yeah, it'll it'll still reach. Uh, taking this into account, you know, the fact that, you know, they are uh, old chums and such, in some form or another, uh, they're still trying to pretty much slaughter people who are not digging that too well. There's no diplomacy here, bro. Yep. So, Marv just readies the axe and just goes gung-ho, fuck these guys. Hey, gentlemen. Hey. Hey, uh, I would stay 10 feet away from him and attack him. Would I reach still? You would, because you're enlarged. Oh. Well, now you're just being cool. That way he can't attack you without uh, taking an attack of opportunity. My god. Well, I didn't know that technicality. Alright. Yep. Let's go for it then. That would be... Uh, don't I get like a plus 2 on strength or something? Plus two to, yeah, you get a plus two to your strength. Score. I don't know. Yeah, the score, and then not the bonus. I don't know what that makes the bonus, if anything, it'll, actually. It'll, it should give you a plus one bonus. Okay. So you get plus one to attack and damage, and you roll a two d eight for damage. Jesus, but actually hitting them is still my normal melee. Yeah. Plus it's, two. Well, plus one. Normal oh, melee plus one. one. Yes. Jesus. I think I hit him. Roll damage. Alright, that was 2d8. 2d8 two, two, uh, two plus 1. Plus your strength bonus. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, your normal damage. 1 in addition to that. I'll take it. So, just as this orc is about to bring down his blade. On that person there, the person who had fallen backwards onto the bench. He stops as he sees a gigantic Marv towering over the tent and running right for him. And 
He's a bit dumbfounded by what he's seeing, so he doesn't think to block as you bring your axe right into his shoulder. And it definitely wounds him, but he is still standing. I'll take it. Wait, I need a good one-liner. Jundis! Mm -hmm. Give me a good one-liner. Bitch. <laughs> just say, it just got revoked. It just got revoked. Yeah! <laughs> Alright. Next up. John Bishira. Here. And Magic Missile on Kate Boot. You have to say it like Jonas would say it. Magic Missile! <laughs> There you go. By the arcane magics. <laughs> Such value. Mm-hmm. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> to a halt, throw out your hands, and out comes two mystical missiles. And they buzz in a wide arc. One goes left, one goes right, and they meet in the center of his forehead. Don't think he drops. As smoke billows from the hole left in his head. Really quick, uh, the guy here, bad or good? Bad. Alright. This ain't gonna work so bad. So the only good guy left over here is this guy? And this guy's about to be cleaved. <laughs> oh, is there a guy in there? I didn't even notice. Uh I assume so. That was like a burnt mark. Yeah, there's someone on the bench. Okay. And I, yeah, I think this is a good dead guy too, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Looks like. I think it was like a timed event. We had to save him in time. That is correct. Shit. It's intense. That was the bottom of the order, right? Uh, I think it was the last. Uh, Will it be Yannis' turn now, yeah, right? No, Yannis is uh, after Mario. Oh, okay then. Yeah. It was my turn. Negative, it is the orc's turn. There you go. So that fellow charges and he goes to stab the person who is sprawled over the bench and he clips it and falls on it himself. <laughs> Jagged. Fight club. 